Hello friends and welcome back to a new series. In this one we are going to cover TypeScript and this is going to be a series of short videos and each video will contain a topic of TypeScript. So let's get started with a bit of introduction and then the setup. So TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript which adds static types to our code. Basically when we code in vanilla JavaScript we can't specify the type of our variables. So that could be prone to errors especially if you're working on a team with multiple developers. But with TypeScript, we have a layer on top of JavaScript, which we can add static types. So our code would be easier to understand by other developers and less errors. And TypeScript is only for the development side of our project. When we compile a TS document or a TypeScript document, it will be back to JavaScript. So it has no runtime effect and it only helps us in the development side of our projects. Now let's just create a folder and install TypeScript and see how it works. So in my terminal, I'm going to create a directory on my desktop and I'm just going to call it TS course. Then I'm going to cd into that project and I want to install TypeScript compiler in this project or folder. Now if we go to TypeScript website and then to the download section, we have two options. One installing it locally to our project or installing it globally on our machine. Now if you want to use the local version, you can use this command to install the compiler and then use the npx command to run the compiler. So because it is local to the project, we need to use npx, but if we are going to install it globally, then we don't need to use that npx command. And this is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to install TypeScript compiler as a global package on my computer. So let's copy this command and back to our terminal. I'm just going to paste it here. This will install the package for me and then we can open our project in VS Code, which is empty at the moment because we installed this globally so that means it's not in our project. So if you were using this other command, which is local to your project, then you would have a node modules folder and package.json document. Now we can run the TSC command to run TypeScript compiler. So if you just run this command as it is, you can see it gives us a bunch of flags and information about the compiler we just installed. And if we scroll up, we can see the version number and some other commands. So for example, the TSC command itself will compile the current project TS documents into JS document and it will look for the TS config file if it is present in our project and we will create this in a moment. If we wanted to ignore that, we could pass the name of a document that we want to compile to JavaScript. We also have this init flag that will create this config file for us that allows us to configure our compiler for our project. And of course, a bunch of other command like the watch command that will watch our project and it will auto compile it when we save a document or for example this out there which specifies the output folder for the generated js file now we don't want to do this in the terminal we want to generate that config file so we can configure it in the vs code which is easier but before we actually generate that config file let's just create our first ts document and compile it and see what happens there so I'm just going to create an app.ts in our project. TS is the extension for TypeScript document. Now in this document, we can write any JavaScript code. So for example, I'm going to create a variable here and set it to a string and then maybe log that into the console like this. But now this is our TS document and we want to generate a JS based on this. So let's go back to the terminal and type TSC and then the name of the document since we don't have the config file just yet. We want to say tsc app.ts, that is the name of our document, and press enter. This will generate an app.js for us in the same directory. Now, if you take a look at app.js, you notice we have that same variable that we defined here with let, but in the generated document, it is using var. So that means we need to configure the JS version that the compiler is using. And that's where the configuration file comes in. So let's go back to the terminal. And this time we want to say tsc dash dash init. This will generate a tsconfig.json within our project. And now we can open it and see what we have here. So we have a bunch of properties here with the comments and it explains what each command or configuration or property does. But we're going to go through some of the common ones. For example, we have the target. So this target is the one we want to change to have 
the new JavaScript files instead of that old version JavaScript we have now. We can change this ES2016 to ES6 or any other version you can see here. So now we are telling our compiler to compile our TS document into ES6 JavaScript documents. To test this out, I'm going to delete this app.js and then go back to the terminal and run TSC. Now this time we don't want to say app.ts because if we do this, so I'm just going to press enter on this one first and go back to the project, you notice our variable is still defined with var. Again, I'm going to delete this app.js and this time I just want to say TSC because now we have a config file and if we press enter back to the project, you can see it is using let to define a variable. We also have this use strict added on top of our JavaScript document. So when you compile your documents, if you specify the source, it will ignore your config file. But if you run the TSC command, it will look for a config file and it will compile based on that configuration file. So let's go back to the config and explore some other things. So if we scroll down a bit more, we have the module section. Within that, we have a root directory. This is a directory for the source folder of our project. Normally in a real project, we will have a source folder for all the development and the resources. And then we have a build folder that we deploy on our server. So we want to make separate folders for development and distribution or production. So we want to uncomment this root directory and I'm going to create a source folder for our TS file. So of course you can call it whatever you want, but SRC or source is a common name. Then we can scroll down and skip all of this. Then we get to the emit section. So in this section, we have an out there similar to that root there, which is the root directory. Out directory is the folder for our production. So I want to have a dist folder or for example, a build folder. This is again, your preference. We also have this strict mode down here, which is set to true at the moment. And that's what we have on top of our JavaScript file. So if we turn this to false, then we will not have this statement, which is basically using the strict mode in JavaScript documents. All right, so now let's create those folders in our project. So I want to have a source folder and I will move this app.ts within that. And then I will have a build folder, which will be empty at the moment. So I will delete this app.js and then we can close this config file. Now again, let's go back to the terminal and just run that command TSC. Now, if we go back to the project, you notice that our app is within the build folder and we have the same statements. And one last thing for this video, we don't have to come back here and run the command over and over again. We can watch our document so it will make a change when we save our TS documents. So when we run our TSC command, we can add watch flag and this will watch our project. So if I go back to TypeScript document and maybe change this to hello and save it, you notice it's already applied here. So that is setting up and configuring our TypeScript compiler. And in the future videos, we will learn about different topics in TypeScript.